her bunny rabbit. It's not in the refrigerator right now. Oh. Are you live yet? I'm going live. Let's see how it works. I can't really see anything. Are you live? I'm going live. Give me a minute. That should have just been a notification that popped up. Not for me. Yep, I did. No, I got to remember not to block the speaker this time. Can't see our faces. How's that? You can't. Are you backing it? Okay, yeah. I can't back it up. Is that good? Yeah. We might have to hold this. Hi, everybody. Right, right there. Can you see? Why well, if we move this in front and stack it on down. it? Bend this down? Yeah, you got like way up here. Oh, from what I'm seeing, I'm right at the top of your head. Now you are. Can you see everything? Right there? Is that good? <laughs> We're unorganized, I apologize. How's that? Or does it need to tilt up more? It's fine that you can't see anything of the... Or if you move this. No, because you can't see the table. I see a little bit of the well, table. Just, well, I was just seeing it while ago. The right. video's not as wide. I'll just hold it. Oh, okay, we can put this back. I forgot. Yeah, video's closer up. I can see a little bit there. What do you got? None of it. I'm not there yet. We'll back the table on it. I can see. Like it. back the table up. Backing the table up's not gonna help. The camera's attached to it. I know, but then you'll have to just pull that forward. I guess. Now help me push the table. Is that better? Okay, hold on. Can y'all see anything? Like Those that are here. I don't see Jessica. That's a good thing. <laughs> We're lagging. I see I'm you. Lagging behind. I have a yeah, we get. We're gonna have some lag. All right, can you guys see me and Kamari right now? And can you see our tray? That's the main thing. Is if you can see our tray and see us. The tray, more importantly. Let me know in the comments that you can see us. Seriously. Can you see us, Amanda? All good. Okay. Can you hear us? Because we want to make sure Aaron doesn't have the speaker covered up this time. Sunday's that live. The problem, Sunday. the problem with his live Sunday was he had the speaker covered up in the clamp thing. And all the pecking noises that you heard was him responding to messages on his phone. So, there I am. That's why. So, we got a new setup today. Yes. All right. Takes us a while to get going, but we'll figure it out. Maybe. Everybody doing okay? Yep. Staying healthy and virus free. <laughs> I know, why, Amanda. Why are you saying, Amanda? I told her about your speaker. This is your job. <laughs> this is your job. He said he wasn't taking it from you, Amanda. It was too stressful. And all I had to do was stand here. I don't have to fight the wind and everything like you do. Yeah. You can't even do that. I can't do that. I'm a noob. <laughs> At least we're not sideways this week. Yeah. So right. We're getting better every Let's time get we do started. this. Are you in a hurry? Yes. You gonna read the lesson? Okay. Since we've got a house full of kids, we have to keep the little ones kind of away so they don't scream. So we're gonna let one of the big kids join in every week. Me first because I'm not this. Her first because she's whiny and don't want to go down there. Update. I'm all locked um, in the basement. Kay had, Katie had her surgery Who's on Tuesday. Yesterday. yesterday. She had surgery yesterday. Are eating on the camera? Yeah. Um, she like did really well. I mean, she really, really fought hard. 
when they took her from me to take her back for surgery, she fought really hard. But when they came and got me and took me back, she was crying really hard and I calmed her down some. Not very much, but some. But she had to have tubes in her ears, which I know isn't a major surgery, but they still had to put her to sleep and stuff. But she's been on five or six different antibiotics since February because they can't clear up her ear infection. So they did tubes. Um, when they went in, they said both ears behind her drum was full of fluid and stuff, so they had to suck all that stuff out. And then they put the then they put the tubes and stuff in her ear drum. She was in quite a bit of pain yesterday afterward <clears throat> and slept most of the day. Today she has been wild. Wild. So I think she's doing better. But we're going to start our lesson. We sure have missed everybody. But we wanted to get try to get on here on Wednesdays and do a kid-based lesson. Even though it's a kid-based lesson, we still like... You know, the adults and stuff can watch too because you yeah, learn from everything. We learn like every that. time we uh, come up with a lesson or something. We learn yeah. something. I bet my time. Hey, yeah. my sister actually uh, watched our live from last week. And she did the activity with her children. And she videoed it. And they were amazed. So, it, it's really amazing to see even some of the... Whoop, some of the lessons that we do, how it impacts everybody and how you can do these lessons or do these activities with your children and you see them learning and, and the excitement on their face when they do this. So it's a great way to spread the word and the gospel with children. So it was great to see that and she shared that with me. So we're going to start we'll this get right into it. So tonight we're going to talk about forgiveness uh, on a couple of different levels, uh, mostly God forgiving us for our sins, but then also forgiving each other. So, uh, we'll just get, we'll just read this thing here. It says, When God forgives us, He casts our sins far, far away. He forgives us completely, meaning He doesn't hold any of our sins against us once we repent. He throws them out as far as the east from the west, as the Bible says, so that they can't affect us any longer. God's love and forgiveness is also complete. He doesn't hold a grudge or bring it up later on when, you know, when we sin again because nobody's perfect. We're going to do it again. He doesn't say, hey, remember when you did that other bad thing? Well, here you are doing it again. He completes it. He forgets it completely. So, we're going to read Matthew chapter 18. Matthew 18, 21 through 35. 21 through 35? Yep. Okay. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy-seven. Seventy times seven. Therefore is the, king, is the kingdom of heaven likened to unto a certain king which would take account of his servants and when he had begun to reckon one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents but for as much as he had not to pay his lord commanded him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made the servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him of, of the debt. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants which owed him a hundred pence and he laid hands on him and took him by the throat saying pay me that thou owest and his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him saying have patience with me and I will pay thee all and he would not but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt 
So when his fellow, when his follower served, what? Fellow Fo servants. What's that? I can't read. Fellow servants. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee of all that debt, because thou desired, desirest me to. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, mm -hmm. and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. Good job. So what is that saying, Maury? Um, it's saying that don't just forgive somebody so many times. You, you should forgive them every time. Because Jesus forgave us of our sins. Right. Jesus forgave us more, forgave us more than we could ever forgive anybody else, right? Or we have done more that needs, you know, forgiven than what other people will. So if he'll forgive us of all of our wrong, we shouldn't hold one little thing against somebody, like it was saying. Uh, what's the quote about the, the, the beam in the eye when they're trying to pull a thorn out or something? What? <laughs> I don't remember. Somebody help me out there. Saying so you're trying to pick on somebody, trying to do something, trying to pick on somebody's little fault when you've got something huge going on or something. I don't know what that is. It just came to me or I would have looked it up. All right, so forgiveness, the main thing. So here's what we're gonna, we're gonna kind of demonstrate here. Here we have nothing, nothing, no, without form and void. So we're gonna let, we're gonna show God's gonna create the world here. We can do it without making a huge mess. It's lacking. 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 And the servant came along, the servant, the serpent came serpent. along, and he got to talking to him, and he messed things up. So that's when sin came into the world. Don't dump a big bunch, just take them pencil on me. So we're going to use pepper here to represent sin, since it's, since it's nice and black, black and dirty looking. Dirty. All right, that's good. It's like dirt. All right, so now the world is full of sin. And it just mixes, and the more you get into it, and you try to move it around, it just spreads, right? You can't get rid of it. There's sin everywhere. Move those placemats. Uh, I don't know if it's... Let's put water, or put these... Thank you, Doug. Glad to see you here, buddy. Here, move that and put these white things underneath can it, because you, you see can't the, see, can the you see the pepper. You can't see the pepper because they're the same color as the placemats. Okay. You see the pepper? Just your camera. Put a little bit more in there. We've got pepper all in it. I don't know if y'all can tell it. You can this, see the pepper now. You can see it? Okay. Yeah. All right. So sin. That's good. Woo, save that for later. We're going to cook with that. So sin comes into the world. And it just gets everywhere. And if Mari will show you her finger, stick your finger in there. Now, hold it up. Is it full of pepper? Yeah. Look at it. So no matter what you do, you're going to have sin on you. It's you can see it. Okay, thanks, Mom. All right, so you've got sin. It's all over you. There's no way to get rid of it, right? I mean, we're helpless or helpless to get rid of it. Until you get a little bit of Jesus, or get Jesus in your life. I want to say a little bit. Rub that on real good. So she, she's got, should I show them what it is? Yes. This is Jesus. We got a little Jesus in our lives now. She's put that on her finger. And before she does that, we're still going to sin even when we have Jesus. But 
he's gonna, it's not gonna, he's not gonna hold it against us. It's not gonna, you know, we're, we're not gonna be perfect, but he'll forgive us. And he will <laughs> <laughs> cast our sins from one side to the other, as far as you can see. I hope you get a view of that. I don't know. It's really cool in person. I hope there you can go. See it. like, yeah, you can see it really can you well. see it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Woo! Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so, are you out? Yeah. So, God will protect you from sin. He'll keep it from your Jesus. eternal life. <laughs> She's going to do it again because she likes it so much. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Oh, that didn't work. It doesn't work once you get it over there. It's too concentrated. Spread it back out. All okay. right, let's see if it'll work again. All right, you get the sin all riled up. The sin all riled up. Sin is everywhere. It's most of it's settled now. Daddy, what are you work. doing? It's not working. It only works one time? That's weird. It won't work That's now. That's crazy. Because all right, there's already but, soap in the water. It's all settled and it won't work. It's all settled and nasty now. Okay, oh, but yeah. hope y'all get what we're trying to say. Quit. I'm not a man. <laughs> sure. It was cool. Is that a thumbs down? <laughs> <laughs> Finger down, I guess, where oh, Mari did yeah. that. Okay. But, so, hopefully you can kind of get what we're getting at. God protects us. He keeps us from sin. Like I said, we're not perfect. We're still going to sin even once he comes into our lives. But it will not be held against us eternally. He forgives us no matter what we do. And now she's just going to play a mess. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully, I mean, that's simple. We use water, soap, and pepper. Y'all can take that and show it to your kids or... Somebody else on down the road, if you want to have a little easy lesson. Um, quit before you make a mess. She's the biggest kid of all. But, and that's uh, forgiveness. That's how God forgives us. Now I'm going to lost for words. So you want to tie in our parable? Oh, well, I mean, like one, what Mari read out of the Bible, the king represented God or Jesus. I mean, he for, like I said, he forgave the one servant a whole bunch of stuff. Like he owed him, let's see, well, he, the servant owed the king 10000 and he forgave that, but that same servant went out and uh, had, some, had his, you know, his other servant arrested for like a hundred, a hundred coins, a hundred talents or something. So way less than what he owed the king, but once he was forgiven, you know, he, he didn't have that same compassion on his fellow servant, so... Um, he had him beat and stuff. But I'm saying that God wants us to forgive people of the little things of what we consider which to him is little, to us is probably big sometimes. <laughs> She's putting more like Jesus that. on a <laughs> toothpick. <laughs> but we need to work to forgive people just like God forgives us. That's the main point. And God right. will forgive us of our sins. So. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat little bit. No, okay. Jesus in the water. All right. Do y'all have any questions before we go? I feel like that was kind of short, but. We were trying to come up with sh short. It, we're going to try to do an experiment, an experiment in a parable or an experiment in a lesson every Wednesday. Um, like we would do on Wednesday nights at church. So. Hopefully this helps with the little ones because I know when they you have them watch the service on Sunday they probably don't understand a lot of it so we try to bring our bring the lessons back to them so hopefully this lesson reaches a lot of kids and reaches a lot of parents to help uh, um, lead their children so hopefully we um, can. Uh, uh, learn different experiments experiments through this and listen if you don't have a home church and you would like to come come to qbc quentin baptist church is out on in bronson um we it's a great church and we're really trying to build up our youth group so come on out and once hopefully we once we get back <laughs> but if not join us on here on wednesday nights for our youth program and then join us on sunday mornings Next week, I don't know, is 8 o'clock work good for you guys? We're usually at church at 7. Maybe we should try to start to do this at 7. So, I don't know. We kind of got lost in the time. But, you know, let us know what time works for us for you, and we'll we'll try to accommodate that so we can get more people in here. Like we said, we try to do something simple that y'all can, you know, just do at home real easy. It's a real short lesson, so.
But hopefully you like this experience or experiment. And if you didn't see it, go back and rewatch it and let us know what you thought. We will see you Sunday or next week. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. I have to get the thing oh, out of the. Oh. Kamari's messing. Don't worry. Nothing.